ओम शांति फोर्थ अक्टूबर 2022 इंग्लिश मॉडली इज सिंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन रन द रेस ऑफ रिमेम्बरिंग द फादर इफ यू फॉरगेट हिम अ बॉम्ब ऑफ माया विल ड्रॉप ऑन यू क्वेश्चन व्हिच डीप एंड सिग्निफिकेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ दिस ड्रामा डू ओनली यू चिल्ड्रन अंडरस्टैंड आंसर नंबर 1 you understand that there are many varieties of actor in this drama and that each one has a separate part the part and features of one cannot be the same as another's there is praise of those who play all round hero parts whereas those who play short parts of one or two parts are very weak actors number 2 god is not present in every actor and doesn't dance alone he is the director of this unlimited drama he is not beyond name and form if he were beyond name and form the praise they sing of god's directions being unique would be wrong om shanti the father has said i enter an ordinary old body that is of one who has reached his age of retirement retirement means to go beyond sound to go beyond sound means to go to the land of nirvana the land of happiness and the land of sorrow are places where human beings live human beings live in the land of happiness where they receive happiness and because the land is a place where people live the expression the land of happiness is used it is also said the land of peace but human beings don't live there when the term the land of peace is used it means that it is souls who reside there human beings cannot live up there it isn't that human beings just live in peace in the golden age it isn't that they live in a cave and try and make their minds peaceful no there there is an undivided religion nothing is divided later on as the number of religions grows so the divisions increase where there is division there is peacelessness to go beyond sound means to go to the land of nirvana you children now understand that souls reside in the land of nirvana which is also known as the land of liberation only souls reside there in silence in the land of happiness souls have bodies when a soul has a body it is not possible for him to be absolutely peaceful people do hot yoga and sit in postures of pranayama in brackets breathing control for 10 to 20 days or even a month but for how long would they sit in peace like that they are not able to go to the land of liberation or the land of liberation in life by doing that this is a drama at this time almost all souls have come down onto the field of action everyone comes down number wise souls are number wise some are sato pradhan whereas others are sato rajo and tamo those who play small parts at the end are very weak souls they perform very short parts those souls don't make a great impact they are not praised as much just think about the ones who are praised the highest on high is god this applies to bharat who else would be praised in other places the founders of religions for instance there is praise of christ and then there is the pope people also have their images therefore the souls who are praised have important parts to play you children have understood the beginning the middle and the end of the world the names of first class actors in a drama are printed in the newspapers so that people are told to go and see them no one knows that this is an unlimited drama of 5000 years 
although people from abroad tell many tall stories the people of bharat tell the tallest stories therefore the father comes and gives us all of this knowledge this is why it definitely has to sit in your intellects who the creator director and principal actor is it is shri baba and he is the knowledgeful and blissful one we can say that shri baba is an actor people say that he never acts that he is beyond name and form then they say that he is omnipresent does that mean that there is only one actor who dances in everyone no each one acts differently the acts of one cannot be the same as another's there are so many different human beings the features of one cannot match another's you children understand that the world drama continues to repeat identically you have a song too which says that baba has to give you the knowledge of the gita once again the father says I have given you this knowledge so many times you i and the whole world exists now and we also existed a cycle ago we will continue to meet every cycle there is no other world the father says i am only one and the creation is also only one god is one there is no name or trace of another Shri Baba alone is the highest on high then it is said that there is trimurti brahma in the image of the trimurti brahma is the important one there is no such expression as trimurti shankar it is also said dev dev mahadev in brackets deity deity great deity brahma comes first Brahma is the number one deity of the three Brahma is also known as a guru Shankar and Vishnu are not called gurus Brahma is the main one in the trimurti the brahma who lives in the satur region is the complete brahma the features are the same therefore shibaba is the highest on high the father of all it is said great great grandfather the one through whom the genealogical tree of this human world emerges this is the tree of the human world first of all there is adam that is adi dev and then adi devi and then creation takes place through them however it cannot be said that all souls become brahma kumars or kumaris those who become brahmins are the ones who become deities this is a study and brahmins are needed for a sacrificial fire those brahmins in brackets priests create material sacrificial fires whereas yours is this spiritual sacrificial fire their sacrificial fires go on for a short while and they sacrifice everything at the end into them all the clarified butter all the sesame seeds and everything else this is a huge sacrificial fire into which the whole world is to be sacrificed sacrificial fires are not created in the golden and silver ages people create sacrificial fires in order to have calamities removed calamities begin in the copper age the father says after this sacrificial fire there will be no more sacrificial fires for half a cycle everything has been explained now judge for yourselves who is right all of those small sacrificial fires are limited ones whereas this one is an unlimited sacrificial fire everything is to be sacrificed into this sacrificial fire and there will then be no more sacrificial fires for half a cycle there won't be any temples to worship anyone etc temples are created on the path of devotion all devotees remember the highest on high shiv baba but because they don't recognize him they say neti neti 
in brackets neither this nor that it is impossible to reach the end of the creator or his creation then they say god your ways and means are unique and only you know them there must be something only he knows and that is why it is said only you know them he must be someone with a name and form because it is said o oh god your ways and means are unique however people don't understand the meaning of that the father explains my directions are most unique i change you from shudras into brahmins and then make you into elevated deities i am the bestower of liberation in life i am the liberator of all when the iron age ends the golden age begins there is no question of sorrow in the golden age the father now liberates you from sorrow everyone else will return to the land of peace the liberator comes at the end of the iron age he comes and changes hell into heaven there is so much sorrow here and so this cannot be called heaven the old world cannot be called the new world there used to be the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan in the new world look at what is happening in the old world this then has to become a new world the highest on high baba comes and changes the old world into a new world the residents of the satar region brahma vishnu and shankar are called deities it is not written anywhere that prajapita brahma in brackets father of people is a resident of the satar region there are no people in the satar region prajapita brahma is definitely needed here shri baba is the highest on high and then brahma is the second one shri baba sits in the body of brahma and does service through him he changes brahmins into deities this is a world of sinful souls the world of the kingdom of ravan in the kingdom of ravan whatever people do is sinful and they only interact with those who are corrupt corruption begins in the copper age then at the end the father comes and makes you souls very elevated it takes 5000 years for the celestial degrees to be completely reduced the deities who were the most elevated have to descend such is this play the father explains so clearly anyone who sits down to understand can understand very clearly when you were in the bhatti in karachi you used to go there to understand however after partition all the other people ran away in brackets from karachi whereas you continued to live there you didn't have anyone's company there however even though you were away from the company of others you made effort number wise not everyone can make the same type of effort not everyone in a school claims the same number two students can't receive 99 marks you wouldn't sit on top of one another in class in brackets if you had the same number no two horses in a race can be the same this sacrificial fire has been given the name rajas ashwameg in brackets the sacrificial fire in which a horse is sacrificed you are spiritual horses your race is to the home to reach the father first they are in brackets in the outside world they have cycle races and horse races there is also a race in wrestling yours is a battle as well as a race your battle is to defeat maya and you are told to remember the father you are not told to remember guru nanak or to remember someone else the bestower of salvation for all is one in fact there is only the one who has mercy on everyone there is only the one who grants salvation to all only the one who is the purifier 
those people have given this name to themselves and that is incorrect there is only the one who gives happiness to everyone the father is the one who will take you to the land of happiness and so you should take your inheritance of the land of happiness from the father ravan has been cursing you for half the cycle now claim your inheritance from your father this is a world of sinful souls the world of deities is that of pure charitable souls there is no charity in the world of sin people continue to tell tall stories saying that so and so died and went to heaven however if heaven doesn't exist how would they take their next birth there these things are only understood by those who want to understand them it is not necessary to sit here in brackets madhuban in order to understand even if you go abroad you must first definitely stay in baba's company for 7 days because good company takes you across whereas bad company drowns you if the arrow strikes the target those souls say i want to stay with baba for another 7 days then baba would also test these souls do they have full faith are their hearts really drawn does the arrow strike them that the father is teaching them oh you should stay in the father's company then when your souls are strongly colored you can even go abroad if you become pure now you can claim a kingdom for 21 births this is no small thing it is not a big thing to stay pure for just one birth baba gives you many methods use these methods carefully so that you don't come into conflict with anyone but you keep their friendship and also continue to make yourselves free baba is the clever one the knower of all secrets in brackets ranju ramasbas and so he tells you all the methods for doing everything there are many brahma kumaris who buzz knowledge to their husbands in this way and bring them here the husband then bows down at the feet of his wife and says she has saved me those brahmin priests tie souls with a bond of vice here brahma himself and the brahmins cancel that bond and tie a bond of purity children say baba you take us to heaven and so why shouldn't we listen to you therefore they very gladly have a bracelet of purity tied acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab tata the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children extend their love remembrance say good morning namaste and thank you to the spiritual bab dada essence for dharana first point create your own methods to make yourself pure promise that you will remain pure and thereby claim a kingdom for 21 births number 2 in order to become most elevated only have an exchange with those who are elevated stay in the father's company and remain fearless blessing may you stay in a combined form by remaining aware of the company of the almighty authority and experience constant success explanation make the almighty authority father your companion and all the powers will constantly be with you when you have all the powers it is impossible for you not to have success however if you do not stay combined with the father if maya separates you from your combined form then success is also reduced there is then success after having to work hard success surrounds someone who is a master almighty authority slogan in order to receive everyone's blessings continue to say hanji in brackets yes indeed 
and extend your hand of cooperation. Om Shanti.